Hello everyone, and today we have a new calculus video where we will be solving the area that is bounded from this polar equation and this polar equation. Now to solve these kind of questions or problems, we will need to graph them. So the r is equal to 4 is just the circle that has the radius of 4. And, the, and it says r is equal to 4 minus cosine theta. That will look like this. Well, we have a 4 and the biggest number that a cosine theta can have is 1. So that will be minus 1. So, and that is at when theta is equal to 0, right? So when theta is equal to 0, which is this, we have a 3. So this is a 3. And cosine theta can have the smallest number. And that is negative 1, when the theta is pi. So we will get 4 minus minus 1, which is 5. So at degree pi, we will have a 5 here. And we have a circle. Okay, it's just a shifted version of the circle, but somehow it looks bigger. I do not know why, but yeah. And yeah, this is the bounded area that we will solve for, which first to do that, we need to find its intersection from r is equal to 4 and r is equal to 4 minus cosine theta. So we set them equal to each other and find for the value of theta. So that is going to be 4 is equal to 4 minus cosine theta. So cosine theta has to be 0. In drawing the unit circle, the only way where cosine theta can be a 0 is when the theta is equal to pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. So, we know that the integral from the interval will be negative pi to pi over pi, pi over 2. And the formula to find the area from a polar equation is 1 over 2 times r squared theta. And I have mentioned this like 20 times, and I think you guys know why it is. So I will just put this into there, and 1 over 2 can come up front because it's the coefficient, and we still have the r squared, which we differentiated d theta, so I get d theta, so that the integral of the interval will be in terms of theta. So now this is what I will be solving for, but the radius, radius, we have two of them, so that is going to be Radius 2 minus radius 1. And when I do that, I will get this, which is 16. No, I, I will not skip any steps. 4 squared minus 4 minus cosine theta squared d theta. Okay, and 4 squared is equal to... 16 minus, and when I expand that, I get 16 minus 8 times cosine theta plus cosine theta squared d theta. Okay, and the 16 and the 16 cancels it out. And now I have a brand new equation that I will legitimately solve for, which is now 8 times cosine theta minus cosine squared theta, d theta. So this all right here, I will actually solve them apart. And that, oh yeah, and also I'm going to have a one over two up here. This can be equal to four times the integral of the interval from pi over 2 to negative pi over 2 of cosine theta d theta. And now, when I integral cosine theta, I will get sine theta from the interval from pi over 2 to negative pi over 2. And that is equal to 1 minus negative 1, so that's going to be 2. But there's a 4, so that's a 8. Plus, now, the integral of the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 of cosine squared theta d theta times 1 over 2. This is going to be, so 
So now I will graph the cosine squared theta, which is, this is two pi, pi, pi over two, three pi over two, and negative pi over two. And it looks like this. If you guys actually perfectly draw the cosine squared theta, and this is something you just have to memorize, but it's not that hard, where this block, which is one by theta, I mean pi, the area of that is pi, but the cosine squared, it makes it look like this. And so this shaded portion is equal to this shaded portion. So that just be divided by two from pi over two. So that's going to be pi over four, but we have two of them. So that's times two. So that's going to be pi over two, but we still have that times one over two. So that's going to be pi over four. So this is our answer, a plus pi over four for this shaded portion. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.